With the increasing popularity of one-by drivetrains, Shimano introduced the Shadow Plus rear mech, more commonly known as a clutch. And that adjusts the tension on the cage of that rear mech to stop it from pulling forward quite so easily. And that keeps a lot of tension on the chain so that it doesn't bounce off your chainring. That increased tension on the chain means that many people run their bikes now with a narrow wide chainring and without this chain device. So let's look at how and why you would want to adjust the tension on that clutch. So the more tension you put on the clutch, the less the chain is gonna bounce around. So great, like I said, for the one by setups and also it's not gonna smack on your frame quite so much. But the disadvantage of that is actually it's gonna put more friction through the system and you're gonna feel that in the shifter. So your shifting might not be quite so crisp, it's gonna take a little bit more force to push it. Also, it can affect your rear suspension if you do have rear suspension. That tension on the chain can make that bike slightly less sensitive over the small bumps. So there's a sweet spot where you want to have enough tension on your clutch to stop the chain from bouncing around, but not too much as to affect the bike. This Shimano XTR rear mech has this on and off lever for the clutch. All the other mechs have a similar sort of lever. So with that off, you can see the mech now springs forward relatively easily. With it on, that's nice and tight. So that's really helpful for when you're trying to get the rear wheel out and you need to take a bit of tension off the mech. Um, but with it on, let's look at actually adjusting the tension. So this modern XTR mech actually has this nice little cover, as you can see, just below that clutch mechanism. All that takes is a quarter of a turn, off that comes, and you need a two millimeter Allen key in there. Anti-clockwise takes tension off the clutch, clockwise puts it on. On slightly older mechs that don't have that quarter of a turn cover, you actually just need to take the whole cover off using again your two millimeter Allen key, and there's three bolts on there, just undo those and that cover will come off. So with those bolts removed, the cover can come off now. And just be careful, there's an O-ring in there, a funny shaped O-ring, and that can pull out with that cover. And that can be a little bit of a fiddle to get it back on, so try and leave it on there if you can. And now you can see the clutch mechanism in here. See if I'm pushing it forward, there's this quite a simple mechanism actually that just tightens down on this barrel in the middle. And there's the adjustment screw that I was doing from outside before. And this is where you can either put more tension on it by turning it clockwise. You can actually see that's starting to put more spring load or friction on this cage. So if you keep winding that on, like I said, that adds more and more. Anti-clockwise takes that off until you can see it really starts to move freely. And I'm looking for something somewhere in the middle. So there's a bit of friction on there, stopping it from pinging, but it's not too tight to affect my gears or the suspension. That feels about right. So just now, time to put the cover back on and actually ride the bike, see how it feels. So my clutch is set, I'm gonna go for a ride. It's worth mentioning that on a hardtail, you probably wanna put a bit more tension on there because the bike's gonna get bashed around that much more a bit more tension is gonna stop that from bouncing around. Also, if you do use a clutch mech on a double or a triple chain ring, you're gonna have a longer chain to account for that. So a bit more tension is gonna make that bike a lot smoother. So there you go. There's how to adjust your Shimano Shadow Plus clutch rear mech. It's a really easy job, worth playing around with a little bit. If you wanna see more videos from GMBN, you can click up there for how to index your gears and click down there for our other maintenance videos in the playlist. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like two millimeter Allen keys and click on me to subscribe to GMBN.